In a weekend interview, Hillary Clinton said the only way to know whether Donald Trump is really successful is if he reveals his tax returns. Forbes magazine estimates Trump is worth four and a half billion dollars. Trump's latest financial disclosure filed last week says he's worth more than 10 billion. Juliana Goldman shows us how Trump responded to another direct challenge over his assets. Juliana, good morning. Good morning. In 2005, New York Times reporter Tim O'Brien claimed in a book called Trump Nation that Donald Trump was worth at best $250 million when Trump and others said he was a billionaire. Trump sued the reporter for over $2 billion, but the lawsuit opened him up to a close scrutiny of his finances. During a two-day deposition, he was repeatedly called out for exaggerating his wealth. Like when Trump told Larry King he was paid a million dollars for a speech to the learning annex. I'll be teaching you how to make serious money in real estate. But in the You're deposition, Trump conceded the actual payment was $400,000. The rest he attributed to the life. learning annex's promotional expenses. During questioning, he acknowledged he didn't fully explain how he came up with the million dollar value. I don't break it down, he said. You have the water, you have the steaks, you have the airline that I sold. The discrepancies between what Trump says his net worth is and what others estimate it to be often rests on the valuation of his brand. Over the years, Trump's international real estate developments have grown, but many of those buildings are licensed and not owned. In 2014, Trump said his brand was worth $3.3 billion. Last year, Forbes magazine listed it at $125 million. Behind closed doors, Trump conceded property values are often subjective. You said that the net worth goes up and down based upon your own feelings, he was asked. Yes, even my own feelings as to where the world is going, and that can change rapidly from day to day. In the deposition, the attorney presented estimates of his net worth by two banks where Trump had applied for lines of credit. Both concluded Trump was worth about a third of the $3.5 billion he claimed in 2005. Trump said the numbers were wrong, and the banks did not do an exhaustive search of his assets. On the campaign trail, Trump boasts that he's not a politician. You know, I've never done this before. I've been a politician for 10 months. And these guys have been politicians for 30 years in some cases, right? But under oath, How he said he spins his business, business like any politician. Have you ever lied in public about your properties, he was asked. I try and be truthful, he said. You always, when you are making a public statement, you want to say it the most positive way possible. I'm no different from a politician running for office. I'm so good at business. Oh, you people are going to be so rich so fast. One area where Trump has broken with previous presidential candidates is refusing to release his tax returns, which would provide a fuller picture of his wealth and document his income in far greater detail than the financial disclosures he's already released. To get a full idea of who he is, uh, those returns are an essential piece. Former IRS Commissioner Mark Everson served under President George W. Bush. He says Trump's excuse that he's being audited doesn't pass muster. He doesn't have a tax reason, in my opinion, to fail to release those seven years that have been audited and cleared. I think this is a political calculation by the candidate not to release the returns. A spokesman for Trump said the original book wasn't relevant then and it's not now. He pointed to Trump's financial disclosure, which cites, among other things, quote, the greatest real estate assets in the world. Gail Trump's 2006 lawsuit was dismissed, so he appealed, which he lost, because the judges concluded the information that Trump gave to the reporter to prove his net worth could not be verified. All right. Thank you, Juliana.